The frosty Christmas morning air leaves icy crystals everywhere. Over the hill, the sun starts to rise as the cranky old rooster opens his eyes. He took a big breath deep down inside and cock a doodle dood with his bill open wide. The barnyard awoke with a start and a stir. The milk cow mooed and the little cat purred. The old dog stood and put his nose in the air, downwind from the farmhouse kitchen there. Something was cooking on the stove in a pot. Something delightful, but he couldn't tell what. He shifted his head to the left with a sniff and back to the right, then he caught a good whiff. Ah, the savory scent of fresh homemade buns. Flaky and fluffy, you know the ones the smell of potatoes and cinnamon spice, the ham, the gravy, it all smelled so nice. Wait, ham? Thought the dog with a lump in his throat as he scanned the yard for the little pink shoat. The young pig's absence filled the old dog with worry. Then his ears perked up and he left in a hurry. He ran to the sty, but the pig wasn't found. In back of the barn, not a soul, not a sound. He ran through the pasture and down past the pond and all through the garden and the forest beyond. And when he was spent and could search no more, he moped to the barn and peeked through the door. There, in the barn, all the animals assembled. A bright light shone and the old dog trembled. A man and his wife and a child in the hay and the little pink pig looked on where he lay. And goodness and peace were born that day, a gift to all those who seek and obey. Mm -hmm.